If you were to ask a heart surgeon uh, where does he get his business from, or maybe more specifically, where do uh, bad arteries come from? Where does atherosclerosis come from? Well, you know, he might rattle off all the risk factors and the Framingham study and all these things that you know about and we're warned about. But really, the two big things are genetics and cigarette smoking. Cigarettes are a devastating effect on arteries and contribute significantly to atherosclerosis and give heart surgeons a lot of their business. Now, this disease is a disease of arteries and it's not atherosclerosis because you don't see plaques in the usual sense, but you do see large arteries that have been obliterated. You could see there's one here in which you could see maybe half of a lumen. There's one here in which there's virtually no lumen. And here's one here, which is a, just a little slit of a lumen. And this non-atherosclerotic arterial disease has an inflammatory component. Here is the internal elastic lamina. Isn't that beautiful? The way it squiggles around like the Mississippi River through the state of Mississippi. But on both sides of it, and especially the endothelial side, you can see a lot of inflammatory cells. So let's put this all together. We have an artery. You know it is because look at all this smooth muscle in the wall. We have inflammation. So that's uh, angiitis. And it is causing a virtual complete thrombosis. And it's obliterating this artery. And for that reason, this disease caused by cigarettes, which is also called Berger's disease, has a more scientific name, thromboangiitis obliterans. And that's synonymous with Berger's disease. It's completely caused by cigarette smoking. And it's amazing, the most hideous picture I've ever seen in my life is not since the internet came around, but it was in medical school many years ago. And they showed a guy that had this disease and it knocked off one of his legs, but he kept smoking, knocked off one of his arms. He kept smoking and eventually he lost all his extremities. And I, I can remember seeing a photograph where he's laying in a bed and hooked up to a plastic uh, catheter and he's still smoking. So uh, for some reason, I always associate that with uh, Berger's disease or thromboangiitis obliterans, which this is a beautiful case of. Here's the inflammation. Here might be a remnant of the endothelium. Here are secondary vessels growing with this obliterated area within uh, the lumen. Here's the world's most beautiful internal elastic lamina. And here is a uh, nice smooth muscle in the wall. Notice uh, atherosclerosis does not look like this. There's no plaque, there's no calcium, there's no foamy histiocytes. Uh, this is thromboangiitis obliterans. Thank you very much.